だろう。DC は弓矢以外は使わないって。終わらせかすけたブリーチブレイブソーズ Alright, what is going on, you guys? This is your boy, the d e a t h m a s h e r and welcome back to yet another Bleach Red Souls video. And today, we're finally going to be showcasing my Max Transcended T20 7th Anniversary version of Uri, which was well overdue. It's just that I waited for Thousand Year Blow Round 3 to get resurrected. For doing his full stamina damage boost build in particular. So now that we have Rukia resurrected, we can now finally showcase this character. But honestly, for me, this guy still remains as one of the best characters in the game, period. And I do think that he is the second best speed character right underneath Ulk. But the amount of stuff that this guy has is freaking broken. It's like night and day. And this is what Azashiro should have been. I have to be 100% honest because. Let's just go over what he has again real quick. So for starters, mine is Max Transcendent with 500 SP. He has a Ronker and no affiliation killer, so there's a lot of content for this character to be used on, especially in GQ in particular. Also has Straw Attack Reacher's time of minus 12% on the Soul Trait, and I have him T20 with full stamina, damage boost, and weakened defense. And we're also gonna run him on GQ because I plan to use him both as a main unit and as a side unit. And going back on the stuff, he has double status ailments with weakening and drain. He also has the gauge mechanic, so once he gets that filled up and you activate it, he gains 100% Berserker and DR of 50% for a good 10 seconds, which is still pretty good. And the fact that they actually buffed the gauge mechanic for both Uryu and Thousand Year Blow or Aizen means that this character is gonna be even more broken than before. Burn plus 2, Long Stride, and Stamina Recovery of 20% to the entire team on his innate abilities. Has the Gauge Effect of Strong Attack Recharge of 30% once you basically activate it. Has 20% Bruiser, 20% Berserker, Devastation 40%. Advocate 20% Frenzy plus 2, the b o t e r of plus 5 seconds. Increased Status Element Chance against Power Attribute Enemies. And also increased Speed Attribute Character Strong Attack Damage of 20% with Card Break. Plus hit hidden enemies. This character is just so fantastic. It's fabulous. And I feel like if this guy had a Marauder as well as Bombardment and Weakened Defense, I think that this guy would have easily been the best character in the entire game. But that's not the case because you still need to give Uryu the Nerd Headband if you plan to run him in the likes of Extreme Co op. And for when it comes to using him in guild quests, you're not gonna be able to run him into ranged or ronker. But at the very least, you can use him for both melee and ranged no affiliation guild quests because they don't have resistances. So you can use him there just fine. But other than that, this character is still fantastic. And we'll just do the classic two builds the first being the full stamina damage boost build, and then the hybrid SAR SAD setup, which we're gonna showcase in IZ first. And then move on to inheritance trials. So let's get on with it. Actually, I shouldn't even call this the full stamina damage boost. I should call it the speed s y n c h a s m setup because we now have triple SAD and FSD setup right here. We have s y n c h a s m that has low 10 SP, h a l i b a l that has low 10 SP, but it's 5 5 with 250 SP on the 6 slot, and then Rukia that has low 10 SP, Quincy Cross, Hill, and the Cape Fastener. So we have the best possible damage output that we can put out with this guy when it comes to running him into epic raids. So we're gonna run him in IZ first to see the overall damage and then in epic raids. We're gonna be taking with us Jushiro as well, just because of the fact that he can boost on the second Tron attack, like always. And yeah, look at that beautiful SP. He's got 6,244, so that is a lot and a lot and a lot of SP. But wait until we get to the hybrid SAR SAD setup because we're gonna have way more SP there. And we're gonna be doing a lot more consistent damage numbers for sure. So let's get on with it. All right, and to go over the kit real quick, all you guys really need to know is that Uryu's kit is godly because he has their 3k length beam on the SA1. He's got a lunge which has around 800 plus radius on the start and then on finish, freaking 1080. So, in other words, yes, this guy has a full screen lunge and it's freaking crazy good. And then his third is full screen. God. <laughs> We've been needing an OP speed character for the longest of time and we finally got it, bro. Literally. It's crazy. But now let's get to showcasing the damage numbers. Ooh, 50k? <laughs> okay, that's crazy. 30k into. I couldn't see that, but. 
Yeah, there we go. 52k, 53k. That stuff is freaking broken. I swear to God. I need to see the damage with the SA2 again, though. So, hold on. Let's just do that real quick. Okay, 29k on that last hit. But, yeah. He's got a really insane kit. But now, let's just charge up the gauge and see what he can do there. Freaking 100k. 100k, lads. Once you get the gauge filled up. In 60 to 70k. Good god. And we didn't even have the boost active at all, bro. It's stupid. It's really stupid. But now, I think it's time to go ahead and boost up with uh, Jushiro. Besides, we'll be able to get the gauge filled up within an instant. So, 60k. 35k. Nice. And lastly, the SA3 is going to do a good. 63k once again. And, ooh. I, th I think I'm going to have to start another run for sure. But first, let's see if we can at least showcase one of the strong attacks before the boost runs out. Woo! 74k on that SA2? I'm imagining that we're probably going to hit somewhere above the 150k's once we get the boost active with the gauge and everything. I wish he'd be ready to go, so let's boost up with Jushiro and unleash the SA1. Ah! Woo! 117k, okay, okay. 124k uh, sadly okay i was uh, i was being a bit too optimistic i think i should have been realistic but hey still great though he was doing around 120 damage on all of his strong attacks with the boost active and the gauge activated as well so yeah he still is by far one of the hardest hitting characters that we have in the game i don't think any other character tops that and it's gonna be crazy to see how he does in it as well bro like honestly <laughs> Now, let's just go ahead and jump onto Epic Raids real quick and see how fast we can clear with this setup alone. This is going to be a complete solo run that we're going to do here. We have the same setup, but we have replaced the Quincy Cross for the Tension Tie, so that way we do a bit more damage with our Soul Bomb. Keep in mind, we're also going to be debuffing with that Soul Bomb as well, so we're going to be able to do a lot and a lot and a lot of damage. And uh, the Familiars, we have ourselves Kisuke and Noitora with Attract and Knockback Resistance, and then Zalapro to help destroy the objects so yeah and all of that we have pretty much complete 60 percent full stamina damage boost right across the bat thanks to the familiars and with this we now have hold on how much full stam 137 percent full stamina damage boost and the berserker at 80 percent so we eating good we eating good and keep in mind this is awakened menos grande by far the hardest epic raid to ever exist with 70 million hp and we're gonna solo this. We're gonna take this down. Now, as for how long we'll take to beat this, we're about to find out. All right, now let's do this now. I know this epic raid is gonna take a good while to beat because this boss has freaking 70 freaking million HP, which is a lot. So even just being able to clear this epic raid alone with this character will just prove enough that he is broken even when he doesn't have killer. And obviously, if you have a full team of Uryus, you're gonna be able to beat this just fine. If not that, just honestly have have people bring uh, pot characters, carry them, and there you go. But now, look at this. The big difference is gonna be when you pop that gauge mechanic. It's gonna be so good for dishing out a lot of damage. Let's see how far we'll take to clean up phase one of the boss, cause I think we can do this within a minute. But we need to be careful here, so I need to stay in the zone for a bit. And there we go, we took almost a minute to clear phase one. However, the second phase is going to be really annoying, so once the destructible objects pop up, that's when I'm going to use my soul bomb, for sure. There we go. So that way we also got the gauge filled up a bit. And we just managed to clear ourselves off of that. Also cleared that in a minute. Look at me. Now here, on the last part of the third phase, Menos Grande will stun you and take away a bit of HP, so uh, no matter what, you can't dodge it. But because Uri has Drain, that's gonna be really irrelevant just because he can literally get his HP back. Go. 
thank god Ooh, that's drain if it weren't for that this epic raid would have been would have actually slowed us down by a lot for sure and we're done we cleared the epic raid i have to speed some segments up a bit but hey there we go we cleared with only one minute and 47 remaining so in total it took us about three minutes and 12 seconds to clear that's a pretty good clear time if you guys ask me really good considering this is max transcendent and everything no killer it's just this guy's broken this guy's actually broken it just that lead just doesn't have bombardment but that's it really he's broken now going back on the PV showcase, we now have the hybrid SAR SAD setup. Both Kokuto and Ichigo are max incentive with 500 SP. And then we have this encounter chat right here with level 10 SP providing FSD 25 and SAR 12. And wow, look at that. Almost 6.5k. Almost 6.5k. Now I could easily pop off the Shunsui link and get even more SP, but then we'd be losing out on 5% more damage that we can possibly do thanks to this Encalma Chad and also a bit less cooldown. So I figure having him over Shinsui is, in my opinion, going to be a lot better. And uh, yeah, let's just get into IZ and see how much damage he can do with and without the gauge active and the boost as well. So let's get into it. Okay, now let's see what he can do. Oh wow, 40k, 25 to 24k, and 41k on the SA3. All without the boost. But now, let's just get the gauge filled up. Obviously, it's going to literally take a bit of time, but honestly, it's just... It's all about using the SAs and using the NAD, really. Okay. Filled up. 80... Bro! <laughs> Freaking crazy! We did 80k! That's crazy! That's actually insane. Hella insane, but now let's boost up with uh, Yushu, for sure. There we go. 48 to 50k, just like that. SA2, 27 to 28k. And 52k, and we're definitely gonna have to start another one for sure. But at the very least, we'll be able to use the SA2 and see what we can do with the boost. Boom, 60k. That's good, that's good. But now, let's start another run real quick and showcase that, and then we're gonna showcase him into co-op inheritance trials. Okay, here we are. Boom. And... We still managed to do 100k. We still easily managed to do 100k with the first and the, and the third strong attack, even while taking away a lot of the damage, bro. It's, it's stupid, bro. Last time, we literally had almost little to no recharge, whereas here, we have a good amount of cooldown, and we were still able to hit that threshold, like as if it were nothing. That's really good. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, now time to showcase him into IT, because by the way, this Uryu is literally going to make IT like a joke. And I'm talking, he's going to do the same level of damage that Thousand Year Blood War Ichigo is going to be able to do in IT. It's almost like as if he has Pierce Iron Skin, but now let's get into it. Okay, here we are in IT. Same setup as before, but it's just that we have the Javelin and the Daddy's Great Whistle, but like, it's the same type of accessories as the Quincy Cross and the Cape Fastener. It's just that, keep in mind, Uryu is a human slash Quincy unit, so you can choose between using the Javelin or the Cape Fastener. So, it works both ways. Okay, this is not going to be much of a solo run, but we just had a random come in, so we'll still be able to shred this apart. I mean, we're going to be doing most of the damage anyways. But, uh, yeah, let's go. Showcase him in IT. And you guys will see what I mean. See? In just two straw attacks, these mobs die, and if you get the weakening popped off on the mobs, they're just as good as dead. Literally. Only takes one to two strong attacks to get that job done and there you guys go like look at that we we cleared out two waves of mobs two waves and once we get the gauge mechanic boom they just die they just die like that what were they thinking giving him the sabler it's so stupid <laughs> like look at it <laughs> yeah i'm just saying if you guys have Uryu Matron Sanded like this, and because he is a premium character, and the fact that he's gonna be coming back 
a lot more often compared to most limited characters. Whether we get a speed character that can pierce iron skin or not, you guys will not need the character at all. Like, all you guys really need is him, a super pod character between Athon or Noel, and I'd say you guys are pretty much good. And then if you just want a nuker, there's ult. So there's that, and that's saying a lot, really. And here, because we have Ronkars, we're going to be able to just nuke with our soul bomb. And get that job done. Easy. Yeah, we didn't nuke out the entire wave of mobs, but we were still able to do just fine. And even then, if you guys cannot nuke with Uryu, just give him a tension tie, make sure he has weakened defense on the bonus abilities, and you guys are good to go. But yeah, there you guys go. But now it's time to go ahead and showcase him in guild quests. All right, guys, it's time to finally do some guild quests. And we have two tickets at our disposal. And the thing that we're going to do first is that we're going to be doing a solo run with Uryu first on melee no affiliation guild quests and see how fast we can actually take that down. And then we'll just go for a sub one run using Noel as the main and having Uryu and Arpa Gijigo on the sides. Just to show you guys that this character is pretty much a must have to use for when it comes to the no affiliation guild quests as a whole because of how broken the character is and yeah, literally. Sadly, for when it comes to nuking, Christmas Noel is still the only efficient nuker that can easily get sub 1 with the fact that she has 80% SP buff and bombardment with weakening on her soul bomb, so it's only a matter of time until we get a better nuker for no affiliation killer that can replace Noel, but for now, for you guys that have Noel, including me, make sure to use her for sure. But uh, yeah, here we have Uryu for the solo run. We're gonna go with the Javelin, the Killer Sticker, and the Tension Tie, and then full complete Sinkamon Aizen setup, just so that way we can pump out enough strong attacks. So let's get into it. All right, here we are. We have burn puddles, but pretty easy. Cause like, first we snap them. There we go. Oh, yeah, I gotta love it when you proc the Drain, bro. I swear to God. Aurulu is going to be a bit annoying because she's tech, so we're going to have our damage nerfed here quite significantly. There we go, we got the Gini Nizuru, use our Soul Bomb, we didn't manage to kill him, but honestly, we got that done, and boom! Took us 25 seconds to do a complete solo run with Uryu. That is nasty, so if you guys just want to go casual, and clear uh, melee no affiliation guild quests or even melee or ronker just like that. You guys can. You guys actually can. But because I'm a bit of a tryhard in guild quests, we're gonna go for sub one now, baby. I'm gonna swap out the bonus abilities on Uryu, swap out weaken defense, and go for damage to weaken enemies just so that way we can get Noel's soul bomb to be even stronger. All right, we're ready to go. We now have our sub one team and Noel. As you guys already know, she is max transcended, T20. I do have her with full stamina damage boost and weakened defense, so pretty much what I want to use her for being a nuker. And Uri, we have his bonus abilities changed, so now instead of having weakened defense, he now has damage to weaken enemies, just so that way, again, like I explained before, he's gonna be able to sync with Noel Soul Bomb and be able to clean out the boss like as if it's nothing and the setup is exactly the same. And then we have Artbook Ichigo, who also has full stamina damage boost and damage to weaken enemies, and pretty much is gonna be doing the exact same thing as Uryu. So let's get into it. And uh, I'm definitely gonna have to be resetting a good bit, so there's gonna be quite a good bit of cuts, but you guys will see that we can get sub one with this team right here. And there we go, sub one, just like that. And all because we got our units to sync, and let's see, what kind of sub one did we get? I'm curious. Hey, nice. Not bad, not bad. So basically, not point eight. I like that, and the game also gave us six orbs. Nice, I take it. And that was only the third reset. I didn't even have to reset too many times. But um, yeah, that's the end of the video, and uh, Obviously, if you guys do plan to go for Uryu and trying to go for the 5-5, good luck to you guys. He's absolutely worth it. He is still the second best speed character that we have in the game right behind Okiora. Whereas this guy, all that he has over Okiora is the amount of damage that this guy can dish out as well as the survivability. 
but he doesn't have Bombardment, he doesn't have um, Marauder, he doesn't have any of that kind of stuff. So in terms of value, he has a lot less of that compared to Okiora. However, the amount of stuff that this guy can provide is still stupidly good, honestly. He's worth going for the 5-5 and obviously worth action sending. Anyways, thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys have enjoyed it, don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel if you guys haven't already, and hit the bell notification so that way you guys are up to date with my most recent videos. This has been your boy, The Vast Masher, and I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care, lads. Peace out.